The T-84 is a Ukrainian main battle tank, MBT, a development of the Soviet T-80 main battle tank introduced in 1976. This tank was first built in 1994 and entered service in the Ukrainian armed forces in 1999. Its design is based on the diesel engine T-80 version. The T-80UD the high-performance opposed piston engine makes it one of the fastest MBTs in the world, with a power-to-weight ratio of about 26 horsepower per ton, 19 kilowatts per ton. T-84 a plot is an advanced version incorporating an armored ammunition compartment and a new turret bustle. Ten of these entered Ukrainian service in 2001. This machine is the latest Ukrainian development of the T-80 series, designed by KMDB in Kharkiv. A main design objective was to make Ukraine's arms industry independent of Russia's, after resulting difficulties in fulfilling a contract to supply of 320 T-80 UD tanks to Pakistan An external difference from earlier models is the new Ukrainian welded turret, replacing the T-80's Russian-built cast turret. Even some T-80 shipped to Pakistan were fitted with the T-84 welded turret, but they lack other T-84 improvements. The T-84's outstanding feature is the 26 horsepower per ton power to weight ratio. It has inherited the nickname Flying Tank from the T-80UD. The tank is also designed to perform well in hot climates, and even includes an air-conditioned crew compartment. Operating temperature range is claimed to be minus 40 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. Due to the collapse of Soviet Union, the Malysia factory was no longer able to obtain ceramic armor modules from Russia and only the initial batch of T-84 were produced with such. Instead, later batches of T-84 composite armor is composed of special purpose rubber sandwiched between steel and alloy plates. The exact difference in performance between the new and previous armor is not known and depends on performance of dynamic armor which mean when enemy shell hit it will compress rubber layers to reduce kinetic energy of round. Ukraine has demonstrated several upgraded prototypes of this tank, intended for both domestic employment and international sale. Variants of T-84 include The T-84 Ukrainian modernization of the T-80 UD new welded turret and Shtar-1 countermeasures suite, new electronics, new main gun, new armor, and 1,200 horsepower, 895 kilowatts, 6 TD2 diesel engine. The T-84U Ukrainian upgrade of the T-84 New armored side skirts, turret conformal contact 5 explosive reactive armor, auxiliary power unit, thermal imaging site, satellite navigation, commander's laser rangefinder, muzzle reference system, and other improvements. The T-84 plot T-84U with a new welded turret with separate crew and ammunition compartments with blowout panels on the ammunition compartment, a new bustle mounted auto loader. The T-84 120 Utican. A prototype version of a plot tailored for evaluation by the Turkish Army, prototype designation, Kern 2120. Mounts a 120mm main gun which fires both NATO 120mm rounds and a special 120mm version of the AT-11 Sniper ATGM. It also has automated gear shifting in place of mechanical gear selector, driver's T-bar control replacing tiller bars, air conditioning, and projectile muzzle velocity sensor, as well as differences in the fire control system, communications, etc. The T-84 Plot M. Modernized. Or BM a plot, the newest and most sophisticated version of the T-84 is an upgraded version of the T-84 a plot mounting more advanced armor, new electronic countermeasure systems, and others. One visible feature is the new PNK-6 panoramic tank site. The T-84 a plot T. BM a plot T is an export version for Thailand. It has some minor modifications to meet local requirements, such as different radio, air conditioner, Thai Army ordered 49 of these main battle tanks. Originally it was planned that all of these MBTs will be delivered by 2014. However due to ongoing military conflict in Ukraine by 2017 only 25 of these tanks were delivered. Mobility. 
The T84 is powered by a 60D2 E6 cylinder turbocharged liquid cooled engine, which delivers 1200 horsepower, 882 kilowatts. It is improved and more environmentally friendly version of the previous 60D2 diesel engine, used on the T84 MBT. Also tank would be powered by a more powerful 60D3 diesel, developing 1500 horsepower. Both engines could use diesel, jet engine fuel, petrol or any mixtures of them. The engine provides a maximum on-road speed of 70 km per hour and a range of 500 km with additional fuel tanks. The battle tank is also equipped with a diesel-electric auxiliary power unit of 10 kW to supply power to onboard systems when the main engine is turned off. BMA plot is equipped with torsion bar type suspension. Either side of the six-door rubber-tired road wheels are provided with idler at forward, drive sprocket at the rear, and track support rollers. The first, second and sixth road wheel stations are fitted with hydraulic shock absorbers. The tank can negotiate a gradient of 32 degrees and side slope of 25 degrees. Equally, the tank can ford a water depth of 5 meters using deep water fording equipment. Armament of T84 include The Applot MBT is armed with 125mm smoothbore KBA-3 cannon A KT 7.62mm PKT coaxial machine gun And a KT 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun The main gun is fed by a loading system equipped with conveyor, automatic loader and control system The ammunition includes High explosive fragmentation, he frag Armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabo, APFSDS. High explosive anti tank, heat. And gun mount, GM, rounds. The main gun can also fire a laser guided missile against battle tanks, armored vehicles, and hovering helicopters within the range of 5,000 meters. The missile can be fired on the move against traveling targets. The tandem warhead fitted on the missile can defeat targets equipped with explosive reactive armor and advanced spaced armor. The Aplot has 46 rounds of ammunition for the main gun, of which 28 rounds are placed in the automatic loader. Other ammunition types carried are 1250 rounds for KT 7.62mm machine gun, 450 rounds for KT 12.7mm machine gun and 450 rounds for AKS submachine gun. Fire control. The vehicle has three forward-facing periscopes in front of the driver's cupola. The center periscope can be replaced with a night driving device. The fire control system includes a gunner's day sight, PNK-6 commander's panoramic sighting system, PTT-2 thermal imaging sight, anti-aircraft sight and anti-aircraft machine gun control system. Detection range of targets for thermal sighting system is up to 8 kilometers. The tank is also equipped with LIO-5 ballistic computer, armament stabilizer and other systems. The advanced fire control system enables the gunner or commander to lay and fire the main armament on the move. The stationary and moving targets can be hit with a high first round hit probability. Protection the protection system includes multi-layer passive armor, duplet explosive reactive armor, Zaslan active protection system, Varda optronic countermeasure system and other tank protection means. Built-in new generation duplet anti-tandem warhead explosive reactive armor protects against APFSDS, high explosive plastic, HEP, and heat type projectiles. Duplet ensures protection against hand anti-tank grenades, handheld and stationary grenade launchers and recoilless guns, including ammunition with tandem warheads. Anti-tank missiles of TOW-2, Milan and Sturm S type. Heat projectiles fired by 125mm tank smoothbore guns. APFSDS projectiles fired by 125mm and 120mm tank guns. Both sides of the driver's compartment are fitted with explosive reactive armor panels for extended protection. The hull sides are hinged with large rubber skirts to withstand the attacks of man-portable anti-tank weapons. 
The modular explosive reactive armor package can be easily replaced or upgraded according to the future requirements. A plot features a Varda Optronic countermeasure system for deceiving incoming missiles and anti-tank guided weapons. The system integrates laser warning sensors, infrared jammer and smoke or aerosol screen laying system. The Optronic countermeasure system provides confusing of the guidance systems of ATGM by putting out laser jamming covering the horizontal plane of plus minus 18 degrees relative to the main gun tubing plus minus 2 degrees in the vertical plane. Jamming of the ADGM guidance systems that use laser illumination of targets, semi-automatic laser guided homing projectiles as well as artillery systems equipped with laser range finders by activating the remote fast deploying aerosol screens in a sector of plus minus 45 degrees relative to the main gun tube. Crew's collective protection system ensures protection of the crew and interior equipment against effects of nuclear explosions, radioactive substances, toxic agents and biological warfare agents, as well as detection and suppression of fires in the crew compartment and power pack compartment. The Aplot tank can withstand an explosion of up to 10 kg trinitrotoluene TNT, under the tank track and up to 4 kg TNT under the driver's compartment. The vehicle has overpressure type NBC protection system and can be fitted with track mine clearing systems. Current operators Ukraine The Ukrainian ground forces has 10 T-84 plot in service. United States One unit, for technologies analysis and operational offer training. Georgia 12 units of the T-84U plot, in evaluation. Thailand the Royal Thai Army has received 31 T-84 plot T and an additional 5 were expected in November 2017. In March 2011, the Royal Thai Army placed an order for 49 T-84S to replace its fleet of aging M41A3 Walker Bulldog Light tanks. Potential buyers include Peru In 2009, Peru reportedly tested the Aplot tank but the government of Alan Garcia later decided to acquire test examples of the Chinese MBT-2000. Pakistan Ukraine is in talks with Pakistan for the sale of 100 plot tanks.